Lately I was feeling like I need a purpose But when you talk to me Give me the impression that I won't scratch your surface And I could walk for days Searching for your praise But is it even there to find?
rise like the sun and fall in, fall in the ocean. Sometimes we lose, sometimes we win, 'cause we're only human. The ghost of our past is chasing, trying to stop us. The sound of our souls connected is nothing but one love. Lagt i brak I mangfoldige år Og byen har glemt oss I skyggen vi står Men nå er vi tilbake Der vi hører til Tilbake i toppen I verdens vakreste spill Vi er åsene Vi er åsene vi skal kjempe som helter mot all slags press For det som er tyrer og myr og alt gress Vi er jo Åh, åh, sanne Når kampen er vunnet Når skalpen er tatt Ja, da skal vi feire Som gal og besatt For dette er klubben Av kjøtt og blod her finnes ingen stjernenøkker Her går vi to og to For vi er åsene Vi er åsene Vi skal kjempe som helter mot all slags press For det som er dyrer og myr og alt gress Vi er åsene For dette er plassen Dette er mitt sted over alt i verden Er det her jeg finner fred For her har vi blomstret Her skal vi svinne hen Og selv når vi er borte Så står klubben igjen Vi er åsene Vi er åsene Vi skal kjempe som helter mot all slags press Og dø som har tid av for mye da Guys, welcome to the second stream of the day. We're back to Bergen, back to Asane. Welcome. I hope you're uh, you're okay. I hope the weekend is going great for you. Today we start season five. Me down. Level down. For my music is too loud in my headphones. 
So yeah, we're starting the new season, guys. Um, after a disappointing end of last season, season four, where we lost the title in the last two games, we choked in the end like we always do. Today is time to start fresh. We have new players joining. We upgraded the squad, and we are still gonna try to do it today. We have some uh, deals ongoing, but I'll uh, show you everything. Again, thank you for joining the stream. It's going to be a two hour, two hour and a half stream, depending how uh, busy it's going to be. And let's let's start. All right. First of all, let's go to the schedule first and see um, the schedule for our friendlies in preseason. We won 3-1 against uh, Silkeborg. We beat also 3-1 Alborg and 1-1 against Shakhtar Donetsk. We are a few days away from starting the new season. We are playing at Molde in the opener. So it's going to be fun. We have uh, probably Molde and Bodoglim today. So uh, we're going to play definitely three games. We will see about Molde. Uh, we will see about Bodo Glim, but definitely Molde, Stromgo, Set, and Haugesson we will play today. We have some transfers still ongoing, but let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's go to the transfers screen. Transfer history. So we sold players for 2.9 million and we bought for 2.1 million. We sold Brage Gvitild to Lech Poznan, guys. For 2.4 million in total, uh, it's going to go up to 2.6 million with clauses. So Braget Kvitilt complaining for not being played on his preferred role as a central def uh, defender. We will play playing him as a deep, uh, no, ball playing defender. Um, he got upset. We got into an argument and we let him go. And, you know, we signed him, as you remember, we signed him for 25,000. And we sold him for 2.4 million. A great piece of business. We made a lot of profit with him. And, you know, we can use the money for something else. Uh, Best Murph. Yeah, man, no worries. Thank you for uh, for joining. Do your thing. I will be here. We're trying to uh, to get more, uh, more more deals in. But yeah, enjoy your, your wrestling, bro. So we loaned Neo Rapo to Victoria Pulsen. Neo Rappo will be on loan for the rest of the season because we couldn't register him and we have better players uh, in our squad on his position. So hopefully he will score a lot of goals for Pozen and we can sell him uh, next uh, season to get some profit. We can't register him anyways. He's a, he counts as a foreigner. So it's hard for us to uh, to register him for the new season that's why we decided to loan he's a very good player still but we can't register him we sold idar liskar to elsborg for just 10k he was uh you know as a third goalie a third option for us so you know we released some uh, some wages this was the plan with his uh, departure olisak in Dach, we, uh, we sold him for 500k. He was on loan last season. We recalled him and we sold him to Getteborg. We made 500,000. When we sign him, we sign him for free, guys. So this is uh, what we try to do all the time. Sign free agent and sell them for uh, for profit. Pixel, thank you for joining, man. Yeah, long time no see. Exactly. Uh, I took a nap and now we're watching Luton Coventry. Oh, okay. That sounds fun. Uh, the bookies are uh, saying Luton is gonna qualify or get a promotion. So we'll see. We'll see. Definitely, I want Coventry because uh, they have more history. So I want Coventry to promote. But it's, uh, it's a fun game to watch, definitely. And uh, also, guys, we loaned to Bran Bergen. We loaned Korea. Uh, another Portuguese player or another foreigner that we can't register for the new season we can't register more than nine players that are not norwegian in elite syrian so um because we have other better options we had to find a way for korea to um 
to still have uh, get some playing time. Uh, we tried to sell, and nobody offered a good good price. So uh, for us, it's better now to loan, and hopefully, at the end of uh, the season or the beginning of, of next season, we can sell. All right. So these are the departures. Let's see who we got in. We got in from Leeds United, guys. Joe Gelhart, welcome to Asane. Joe Gelhart, 23 years old, striker slash winger. Uh, he can play uh, inside forward on the right because uh, his stronger foot is the left foot. So uh, his main position is advanced forward, but he can do he can do like uh, even even shadow striker he can do. So definitely a great deal. 128 current ability um we are playing in the qualifiers of champions league guys so that's why we are trying to improve the squad uh really really uh you know like dr like drastically we have to do a better job than last season i'm rooting for luton they have a tiny stadium <laughs> oh they are they are up okay um are they playing at coventry 10.3 thousand over 10,000 seats yeah if they are playing at Coventry and if they're up that's uh that's really really good because they have a they have a big chance of uh, of promoting all right so let's see who else we got in we got in Elliot Matazo guys from Monaco on loan for the rest of the season deep line playmaker uh 24 years old 174 cm the best player at the club right now Eliat matazo 19 caps for the under 21 belgian uh, national team one goal uh he played some uh sub he played some some games in league n actually he has 28 m over 50 games in league n so plenty of experience for Eliot matazo we broke the bank for him because for this loan we paid over a million a lot of money that we paid for one year but like i said guys it's gonna pay off if we qualify to the champions league league phase that's the only way this transfer is gonna make sense so i am confident somehow some way we are gonna we're gonna get through uh we got in another big name hannibal from wolves guys um he is a manchester united uh, youth graduate and um, in our save he was with Wolves uh, they got him from uh, Man United for 8 million he was with Wolves didn't play for them in Premier League and we got him for one year alone that um, definitely is gonna help us to achieve our goals he can play uh, many positions but we are gonna use him on the left as an inside forward so Hannibal will take number 10 and um, he is undisputed starter right now for us. And uh, we have Matias Kiolo on loan from, uh, let me see here, from Twente. Backup uh, inside forward or backup central midfielder. Uh, we are going to use him a little out of position as an inside forward backup to Hannibal, guys. He is a decent uh, on speed and good numbers for dribbling good numbers for passing he can do it he can do this position inside forward we have many midfielders uh, and that's why uh matthias kiolo he, he will be the backup for hannibal and the last one we brought in facundo garcia backup deep line playmaker argentinian backup like i said to um who we got who we got backup to matazo Yes, back up to Matazo, guys. And one more player that I didn't show you. Uh, we have a new central defender, Sherwin Msoni, or Msomi from South Africa. One cap already for the South African national team. Uh, 190 CM, very tall central defender. Already 118 current ability with a lot of room to improve. Very good numbers, 15 tackling, 13 marking, 12 heading. 14 jumping reach, 12 pace, strength, 12 uh, balance, 15, 13 anticipation. Very, very, very good uh, player. And he will be 
undisputed starter for us. He will pair with Welsh and uh, on the left will keep Escobar and Romach is improving visibly. He's already 129 current ability right now at only 18 years old. We have him for another year. So happy with this deal. For now, this is how we're going to line up, guys. We're going to keep Kamanzi on the right. He is improving. He's already currently ab current ability at 120 now. Last season, he was at 118. So he is improving a lot. And we are trying to sell Etzaz Hussain now because we are trying to get, guys, uh, we're trying to get back Indre Wale Egeli. Uh, it's going to cost us 1.2 million for one year a loan for 1.2 million from Southampton and we are trying to get also back Niku Balac on loan from Atalanta we have two deals that uh, if we manage to uh, to complete uh, we have a huge huge chance to finally get to Champions League I think with these two players we really really um, we really can qualify to the Champions League league phase Let's press continue and see what's going to happen. Departures. We still have Keegan Johannes. Um, we are selling him. He uh, already um, got his work permit. And uh, we're selling him for 600k to Brondby in, uh, in Denmark. So uh, let me see here when he's going to get it. Doesn't say. Doesn't say. But very soon we're going to find out if this transfer is going to go through so another six thousand uh, six hundred thousand for us plus uh like i said we're trying to to get rid of etzaz hussein who is already 33 years old and his uh, attributes are decreasing uh very rapidly so let's re-offer for 625 now and valerenga is interested in signing him so fingers crossed we can we can get rid of him Otherwise, we can't complete those two deals, guys. And we are six days away from the opener. Our uh, Elite Syrian Season 5 opener. We finished second last season. Okay, so Balac. Balac said yes. Okay, good. So we're going to get Balac. And uh, Wala Egeli rejected us. Huh. Let's try again. Let's try again. Loan. Star. Oh, we we offer him star player, and still he said no. Uh, I don't know what else to offer him. Prefer position. Let's say um, attacking midfielder, right winger. Sometimes it works. All right. Most likely he's gonna say no again, but let's uh, let's try. So Balac, he will join us, guys, for another year. Great, great piece of business. Romanian wonder kid, 18 years old from Atalanta. Last year, he scored in. Um... Why they don't show how many? Because he scored a lot of goals for us last season. I don't know why they don't show it. Whatever. He scored at least seven goals in nine or ten games for us. So he really, really ripped apart our opponents. Let's press continue. Now we have to unregister somebody. So I'm thinking about Facundo. the the new deep lane playmaker that we got on loan no eh, he's not on loan i think he is uh we got on on a free from um vitoria guimaraes maybe we can loan him out unregister him and loan him out because otherwise we can't we can't register balac let's see here Team registration. This is a big, big deal. So Balac in. See, we cannot register him without taking out another foreigner. So 
The only one that we can take in, that take out right now is Facundo Garcia. Yep. Let's give him a number. We'll give him number seven. And the captain. Uh, let's see. Let's choose a different vice captain, guys. I guess Botger. Yep, Botger is our new vice captain. At only 19 years old. Stephen Welch will stay as our new captain and Botker vice captain. Uh, we already sold him, so he's a uh, Radio Pan is uh, on our second squad because we can register him. So we sold Radio Pan for 800k, guys. He scored over 20 goals last season, but because we have better options right now up front and we have to upgrade for Champions League, we decided to sell. We almost, almost got a hit Chong also, but they, uh, they're asking for way too much money. We can, uh, we, we can get him for free. Yep, yeah, he's asking for too much. On the salary hey Dan how are you man welcome to the stream okay Balach okay so because we got Balach now we can move get a heart as an inside forward on the right and Kamanzi can play backup winger or backup complete wing back Okay, so now we have to find a loan team for Facundo Garcia. Let's see if we can find somebody to give us 100% of his wages. Yeah, he's... Uh, He's upset, but we can't do anything about that. Four days away from the season opener, we improved the squad so much. Now... If we don't win the league this season, then I don't know what else I can do. Because even this, I stretch so much to finances. And I yesterday, I played at least six hours on my own just to find a way to, to improve the squad. I, I did everything I could to improve the squad for the new season. After we lost the league dramatically in the last, in the last two games, we... We had to, you know, we we had to improve the squad. If you stay at the same level, Bodo Glimt and Molde and Rosenborg, they're always going to kick your ass. So now we have players on uh, 130 current ability, over 120. Even our goalie now is, uh, let's see here, Olsen Pettersen, our new goalie. We got him uh, last year on a free from Bronby. But he joined just uh, just now, so he's on 117 current ability.
Okay, so no offers for Garcia. We have to keep trying. Okay, alone for... Okay, just for free. Just somebody offer. We need, we need him to go. We can't register him. Otherwise, we're going to send him to the B team. No offers. Wow. And even for Hussein, no offers. This is not good. We need, um, definitely we need at least uh, 15 or 16 subs to be able to compete on all fronts, on all competitions we're in for the new season. Come on, man, just get the hell out of here. Okay, we're willing to let him go for even 350, come on. And Egeli said no, all right. He really doesn't want to come back. It is what it is. Facundo Garcia. Can we sell you at least? Let's see. If you don't want to... Okay, let's try to sell you. 500k. Ah, Garcia, Garcia. Because we just signed him, so nobody probably wants to offer anything. I guess I guess we can't do anything about it he will play in the cup maybe or you know he won't play at all we'll see but nobody's offering even as a loan maybe in the summer transfer window we'll try again to get rid of him or to loan him out but for now we can't register him so let's see how much money we have left for transfers we still have uh 541,000, but we're over the wages, so we have to adjust this a little bit. Okay, so... We can, uh, we can make one more deal. One more loan. Maybe a central midfielder. Norwegian central midfielder. We can't get any more foreigners, guys. Let's see what's good here on the transfer market. Nothing. Rockstad. This guy, maybe. Loan. Nope.
I would love to bring back Brasmussen from uh, Brand, but they don't want to loan him out to us anymore. What if you we buy him? Let's do two fifty. Okay, we give you three fifty or four hundred, four hundred and fifty percent. Oh, yes. 425. After 50 games, we'll give you 100,000. And after your league appear. Uh, okay. Or maybe this. They said yes. Okay. That would be awesome if we can pull this move. Let's try. Come on. Yes, and he's really, really reasonable with the salary, man. Awesome. Five years, and we're gonna give you 91. Nothing on signing. Boom. So 425. Do we have 425? No, we don't. 750 Let's ask for a little more money This will be our final final deal Rasmussen was a key player for us last season it will be a great great backup or even as a starter we can play him again a shadow striker behind Balac two days away we're traveling at Molde gonna be a tough game but we need to start with a win and let's hope for no long-term injuries that's the only way we can ball it again that's the only way we can lose the title again based on the squad that we have right now we should have an easy job this year Regardless what's gonna happen guys, we won't quit until we win the Champions League with Asane, so No matter how many seasons it's gonna take us I'm gonna keep going. All right, let's do the press conference before the first game of season five We need to keep it positive always Escobar injured. What did I say? Three to four months injuries. Uh, injury for Jan Escobar. Unbelievable. As soon as I said that, as soon as I said that, and we have another one virus here for the kid Frode Groholt. Send home. Now we're in big, big trouble because we don't have a left back. We we have Kamanzi, but he is not a proper left back. And now we can register Garcia. And unregister Escobar. Man.
So Kamanzi now is our left back. Complete wing back attack. We are lucky to have him. Oh, we didn't give a face to this kid right here. It's a loan. It's 16 years old, borderline wonder kid, I think. But yeah, let's give him a face right now. Since we are here, let's do it really quick. Right before we start the game. I think we got him. That was quick. All right. What's his name? Still stud, but we're gonna get roll. So this guy, Rolf, still stayed whatever, his, he'll still stud. Okay, so he can play in desperate, desperate situations. He can play as a complete wingback on the left too, because his strong foot, he has a fairly strong left foot. So he's just 16, I know, but, you know, right now we only care about improving the squad, so... Um, that's why I kind of, uh, you know, focus on m midfielders and strikers or wingers. Because in our D, we look really well. We have uh, Etan Amundsen Day, who can uh, play left back and central defender, backup central defender. Hmm. Maybe we need to to look into getting another. Central defender on a free also. Yeah. Yeah, we actually really, really need one decent backup central defender because Amundsen Day is not decent. He's just a guy, you know. But if we're gonna have like another long-term injury, 
Like Escobar, four months. We'll really be in big trouble. And we can only sign Norwegian players right now. Ah, Sevilla won nothing against Real Madrid. We had a very fun stream earlier today. The betting league ended. For the month of May with Schmilios, our champion, for the second time in a row. If uh, you want to join for next month, now is the time. Um, for, the, um, for the summer months, we are going to probably place bets on MLS, guys. Because most of the European leagues are done, are over. So, yeah, it's uh, probably going to be MLS the whole summer. In case, you know, we're going to have other games, other competitions. Maybe national teams, who knows, we'll see. But um, you're more than welcome to join. Let us know on Discord and um, we're going to add you uh, when we're going to start the first stream next week. Yeah, we really need to, to sell Hussein to raise some funds now and buy a central defender, like a backup central defender. So we need to re-offer Hussein because Facundo Garcia is going to do the job. He can do Metzala, he can do deep line playmaker. Hussein is already 33 years old. And even last season didn't do too well takes a little bit until the new face is gonna be generated guys but we're almost there yep almost there all right let's see Rolf Christian Seelstad 18 no 16 years old damn No worries, Pixel. I know. I know. Um, <laughs> I know you're in the background there. And Dan, for sure. He yeah, usually just says hi and then uh, he's just watching. Or. Coventry tied 1 1. Okay. Are they playing at Coventry or Luton? Actually, I can check it out on my phone okay is that Coventry okay 72nd minute <clears throat> yeah it's Wembley definitely so Silstad guys, like I said, fairly strong left foot, very strong right foot. He can play both 
sides left or right but his sprint ability is only 88 so we cannot just uh, assume he's gonna help us too much he's just a very very young prospect we need to find somebody else Ethan Hamunson Day is just a backup central defender not too good not too good so that's why um, we need to find a central defender guys a proper central defender as a backup let's re-offer it says Hussein here for 300 maybe or 250 let's go for 250 <laughs> pixel i'm glad you're my friend too man and thank you for for being a big part of my channel you basmer Schmilios, dan uh who else is joining my channel regularly bizarra otherwise i wouldn't stream honestly i would just record my episode and just post them straight uh to youtube you know so we have an offer 250,000 for Hussein. Okay. This money we're going to use for buying that central defender. I hope we can find somebody decent enough. Okay, 250. Except he's 33 years old. He's still very good for, for being a backup. But, you know, slowly his attributes are going to go even lower. And we can use this money right now to cash in on him. Increase payroll. They said no, of course. Because they have nothing. They have no money yet. But if we qualify to Champions League, guys, everything is going to change. Imagine getting 14 million from the, the league phase. Qualifying to the league phase in Champions League. Just to qualify, you're going to get 14 million. So, yeah. All right, we're waiting for Hussein to depart and to receive the cash. We're waiting for Rasmussen to join. In the meantime, let's try to find a central defender. Let's see here. Uh, he has to be a Norwegian central defender, guys. Let's do, actually, let's use the, um, the filter. And this is going to give us only central defenders. Okay. Lordal, this guy. Ooh. Damn, this guy. Yes. Perfect backup. Does he want to join? Nope. Why not? Why he doesn't want to join? Because he's on loan? Oh, he's on loan from Basel. Until when? Three more months. Mm. Yeah, we need somebody right now. Can't wait till then. Opeyemi. Maybe. Backup. Okay. They want okay squad player. Uh, pixel for uh, for the beginning. You know, if you're just starting playing football manager, the first tip that I wanna give is just you know pick a big team like Barcelona, Real Madrid, Manchester United. Manchester City because when you pick those teams it's easier for you to get in love with the game win and uh, you know make transfers and all that you know and then when you get hooked you can go to a different level <laughs> you can go to Norway or you can go to Romania and pick Romanian uh, second division teams and all that you know You're teaching your friend with a network save in Greece in FM22. Oh, he doesn't even know soccer. Oh, okay. So he's 
So you guys started with big teams in smaller leagues. Okay. Well, yeah, it's uh, it's kind of the same thing. Just uh, try to keep it simple. You know, just pick a pick a tactic that you know fits your squad first of all. Don't uh, don't make it complicated. So just pick something really really simple for your tactic, and then try to to see where you lack quality in your squad and then go and find loans or find free agents if you're a, you know if you're a big team in small leagues definitely that's going to work and take it step by step you know not it's not that hard this game is not that hard it's just like a, it takes a little bit until you get used to the skin to the the layers and all that you know what i mean but after a while, after you get used with everything, you know, it's really, really easy. Yes, Pixel. Tell me. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> he was like there's this old striker they're telling me to sign is he any good it was paulo guerrero <laughs> paulo guerrero i uh do i know this guy paulo guerrero peru he's from peru guerrero maybe i'm wrong Yes, there you go. Played for the national team, right? 35, 36 now. Paulo Guerrero, actually. Let's double check. Oh, he's a head coach now. Yep. Oh, yes. That's him. 107 caps. Legend. Yes, he played in Germany. I remember. This is how. This is why I know him. I, and I, I remember when Bayern got him for one season as a backup. They really needed him as a backup. Oh, more than one season, actually. If it wasn't him, then there was another guy that they Bayern got him as a desperation uh, solution as a backup striker for one season. But I forgot. It was him or no? Hmm. I forgot, but yeah, I knew he played in Germany. Pizarro, there you go, Pixel. <laughs> Pizarro. Man, you know you know your your gem. Hold on. Not with two O's, with two R's. Uh I think it's Pizarro. Oh hold on. Now I don't even know. What's his uh, first name? Pizarro? I forgot. Guido? Claudio. Claudio Pizarro. This guy, yes. So they got him on loan, I think. Or on a free. Yes, on a free from Werder Bremen. In 2000. 12 2013 he was old he was really old and he scored some goals like some he scored a lot of goals for bremen and they got him as a desperation because he used to play for them before as you can see many many years but i remember when he came back pixel that's this is what i remember i remember they really needed a backup striker because somebody got injured and they brought him back, Pizarro. <laughs> yeah, he played a lot of seasons for them. In his prime, they paid 7.25 to Werder Bremen. He played for Chelsea too, damn. Wow. Great career for Pizarro. 
All right, let's see if we can find a way to bring this uh, this kid Opeyemi on a loan. Let's see. So they are uh, gonna ask for 150k. Okay, squad player. Let's see. Lots of Peruvians in Germany. Yeah, I agree. And there's another great, or not great, but very good defensive midfielder, Peruvian defensive midfielder that played for Torino. Now, I don't know where he is, but he, I really I really liked him. He played for Torino for a few years. Forgot his name. Yeah, Jefferson Farfan uh, at Schalke, yes. And then he went to Russia, Farfan. He went to Spartak Moscow. Hussein demands compensation. Okay, accept. Clinton Opeyemi from Bruges. Right-footed central defender. Mauricio Lopez. Uh, hmm. Maybe, I gotta double check. But he was really good for Torino. Uh, no, this is a fake guy. There's a lot of Mauricios here. Fake. Fake. Hmm. Let's uh, go to Peru, actually. National team. Maybe the, he still plays for the uh, for the national team. Renato Tapia, no. Cartagena, Valera. Man, it's... how did I forget his name? He was very, very good for Torino. Very, very good. Oh, this guy, free agent. Really? Look at this guy right here. How much? Push to sign. Ah, he said no. Okay, Pixel. Yeah, maybe he's gonna come to me. I don't know. But for now, I really don't remember his name. And almost game day. Big day in Norway, guys. Big day for Asane. We're starting a new road. A new journey. Season 5. We're already so deep. We're in March 2026. We are starting to attract better and better players. Maybe our reputation went up a little bit. So the expectations for the new season finish in the top four places in Elite Syrian, reach the la later stages in, in the cup. Wait, so nothing for Champions League? Hmm. We finished second last year, so... Brout. This uh, this player joined us from uh, from Sandness on a free, guys. We uh, we signed him last season. 18 years old. Just to give him a little playing time and then sell him. This is why uh, why I did this. Maybe we can get a few hundred thousand dollars on it for him. He will never be anything big, but definitely can help us in the cup cup games.
And what else do we need? We need a proper left back. Can we find a left back too? Uh, Ranheim Gaustad. Mm, we need his stronger foot to be the left foot. Oh, Jakobsen. Huh. Why? He has a right foot instead of a left foot. As a left back, it's weird. Mikkel Tveiten. This guy is good. Let's scout for one week. Tveiten. Bakai. Yeah. From Odds. Loan. Nope. 50k. Ah. Yeah, right. Lingbo. Skid. Mialbi Mata. Yeah, this guy is awesome, but he's gonna say no. Yep. 225. Oh! 225. Okay. We might try. We might try. Alright, let's check the training levels, guys, for the first time since um, last season. We have a lot of new players, so this is going to take a little bit. Let's see. Criticize Garcia. He's not training well. Hussein. Criticize. Kill and criticize. Alright, let's check for additional. How get attacking movement. Msomi ball control. Hakonsen. Gelhart attacking movement. Edmundsen or Amundsen Day endurance. Ruglandry no. Bodker attacking movement. Romach no. Kamanzi corners. Actually, agility and balance. Still start ball control. Raholt passing. Matazo attacking movement. Peterson distribution short. Hannibal shooting. Welsh. Brout ball control. Crossing for Kyolo. Zamburek. Oh. Large skill and agility and balance. Stay in Facundo Garcia defensive positioning. 
Grow Hold, Agility and Balance, Niku Balach, Endurance, and let's put him on Advance Forward. And Escobar is injured and unregistered. Okay, one more thing that I want to check is our staff, guys. So we have five scouts, including the head, uh, five scouts, five physios, in, including the head physio. So we're good here. We have, uh, let's see the coaches though. That's what I wanted to see. Training, coaches, edit coach assignments. This is, let's see, ah, it's exactly like last season. Maybe we can improve with another technical coach okay let's staff staff search coach and technical let's see Schwartz Ren Schwartz nope not good enough Dennis Bergkamp okay yes can we Ah, too much. He's asking for way too much. Jabu Maluleke. Mm. Maybe. Too much. Dude. Moniz. Yes, this guy. You too, man. Alan Steele. Yes. For now. We, we can't afford this Michael Carrick, okay. Come on, Michael. Rowdy Nocent. Okay. Coach. All right. Delian Kaluda, Romanian, Mikland, he used to be a very good player for Rosenborg, Eric Mikland, very very good player. Okay. What else I wanted to do? I wanted to do something else really quick. Staff wise. Yeah, it will come to me. Anyways, let's start guys. First game of the season. Uh, we have to say no to this guys. away walk away Alan Steele Dennis Bergkamp too Michael Carrick too God I hope for no injuries that's all I want no injuries Put on a show, boys. We're one hour and 14 minutes, guys, into the stream. We're going for two hours and a half today. So let's go for one more hour and 15 minutes. No, no, I didn't, man. Hopefully, it's gonna come to me. Uh, I have to look into into the roster of uh, Torino for 2016-17 or 2018 season. Yeah, hold on a second. Oh, 
Torino Messi And one nothing Gelhardt debut goal in the fifth minute of the game. Let's see Zamburek here passing to Gelhardt and Gelhardt from a very very difficult angle. Of course, the first goal for us this season. We're starting really really strong guys with uh, dominating Molde away And another one, Balac, assisted by Gelhardt, guys. We are starting to play really well. Eleventh minute of the game, Matazo, with a long pass here for Gelhardt, but Kitsos makes some mistakes, and Gelhardt assisting Balac here, who doesn't wait and just takes a strong, strong, and powerful shot straight to the net 2 nothing, and we're looking really really well now one more minute of normal time okay uh, let's see here Peru 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 another one Matazo damn 17 minutes and it's 3 nothing, guys. What the hell is happening? I'm not even paying attention here and uh, the team is delivering the goods already. Oh my god, Matazo. another one Gelhardt dude this is crazy I need to pay attention here for nothing in a 25th minute Gelhardt with a crazy free kick wow Amazing start of the season. Getting closer to halftime. Romach throw in here for one of our strikers in the box. Now Zamburek, Welsh, Msomi, Matazo, Kamanzi on the left, passing to Hannibal. Hannibal, Botker, and it was an offside, I think. And halftime, guys, four nothing for Astane, destroying Molde away. Brilliant, brilliant performance. Everyone is playing at their best.
Sixty second minute. Molde is trying to fight back, but it's kind of late. Olsen Pedersen with the save. Romach. Welsh. Zamburek, Gelhardt getting tackled by Risa, Zamburek, Hannibal, I think it's an offside but that was such a great, such a great pass, I think it's an offside, yeah. Yes, it was. We're getting closer to the end of the game. The first game of Lysirian. Soon we're going to make some subs. Somi for Gelhardt, Welsh, Romach, Romach, very good pass here for Botger, not fast enough. Welsh, Zamburek, oh, what a tackle there, easy. And Kitolano, Berisha, and... Nothing comes out of it. 78, 79, 80th minute now. Gelhardt, free kick. For Welsh and 5. 5 nothing. La Manita. La Manita, guys. 5 nothing away at Molde. That should tell you what kind of team we have this season. What a goal by our Scottish international all right let's make some subs now uh Kyolo for Hannibal Hauge for Gelhardt um Amundsen for Kamanzi still start for Romach And uh, Raholt for Balach. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. He almost scored another one right before we sub them out. Zamburek, Auge, very good pass here for Kyolo, cuts inside in the box, ah, the finishing though, finishing was really bad. Matazo, Msomi, Welsh. Zamburek Welsh switches again to Kyolo. 
<laughs> Rahul, can can you can you freaking score? Ah, uh, we uh, we almost scored the sixth goal. That was so easy for him. One on one with the goalie from so close, such a close range. I know it doesn't matter, but still, I I really wanted to to score one more on on uh, on Molde. Just to twist the knife. <laughs> yes. Matazo. Kyolo. Botger. Ah. Upside, anyways. This was a dismantling, guys. We put on a beating on Molde. Can't wait to play against Bodo Glimpse. Three points, really, really easy. Outstanding. No injuries, this is great. We had only one yellow card. And we are first. Oh. So. Mata. Thinks we can't match his demands. So he said no. Okay. Alright. Let's praise all. The goal scorers. Matazo. Our new number eight. Welsh. Balach. That's it. Press conference. Very, very happy with everyone. Next game is going to be at home in front of the fans. And we are welcoming Strom Godset for another beating. We have Haugesun and then Bodo Glimt, but I don't think we're gonna get to that today. I'll probably play on my own later on and... Uh... Oh, I forgot. I forgot to do the training schedules, damn. What the hell is happening? Alright, this is gonna take me a little bit. One game week. One game week. Week off. One game week. One game week. Week off. Two game week. And this is subject to change because uh, when we're gonna play in the cup and the Champions League qualifiers, we're gonna have more games to play and we have to readjust this. But for now, we're gonna use the standard ones. Two game week. Week off. Three weeks without any games, okay. And Viking are back 
into Elite Syrian. Man, so many breaks between games. I wonder why. Run. Almost done, guys. That's it. Now we're waiting for Rasmussen to say yes and Hussein to depart. The Champions League qualifiers will start late in August, guys. We're still in March. So. By the time we start the qualifiers, I hope our squad is going to be even better than this. Because in August, the transfer window will reopen. So, I'm going to make more deals. This this guy used to play for... Hold on a second. Allison. Huh. Okay, so we need 70, 75,000 more. Okay. We're going to delay for one week. We're going to have the money for Rasmussen. 28 years old, Matthias Rasmussen. Yeah, it's, he's going to help us for two years for sure. And for that price, for sure, um, it's worth it. They're gonna fight him and um, both are gonna fight for the spot for the starting spot shadow striker position right here. Both gear is still way too young. Rasmussen is still better, I believe. And Bran tied at Stabak. Pressing continue five days away until our second game of the stream and second game of second game of our season five. Okay, so we have a new central defender. Michael Clinton Opeyemi, welcome to Asane on loan we need this guy even though he's not great we just need another body on the bench let's register him we'll give him number yeah number no nope, number 13 let's give him number 13 Opeyemi. Yeah, not great. It's just, like I said, guys, just 
another body. Defend. Hussein snapped Valerenga. No! Dude, no! Oh, shit. I didn't expect this. to sell you 220 come on Sent. Oh, this is the uh, the coach. Okay. Man. Okay. Let's go to coaches. Assignments. Yes. Now it's good. Yeah. Okay, two hundred. Let's go two hundred thousand. We really need Rasmussen. No offers, of course. We have to go even lower now. And I'm afraid nobody... Yep, they, they don't want him anymore. 180, come on. Forgot about this dude. Forgot about this dude. Oh yes. So finally he got the work permit. Because we were selling Keegan Johannes. And I forgot that it took so long for him to agree with Bronby. I mean for the work permit to to arrive. So finally now accept. And now we have money guys. Maybe for even one, cent one more central defender. There you go. And more room in the wages too. Okay, let's see the finances. 918,000. Okay, we covered the extra wages um, that we were spending over the uh, the minimum budget that we got from the board. Now, the overallness is 759. Let's see how much we're spending. We're going to pay for Rasmussen. So for Rasmussen, 425. Yeah, we still have enough money to buy another central defender. So... Let's go. See who can we who can we find? Oh, oh this is left back. Hmm, I like this guy. How much? Three twenty-five. Let's go. 
1.5 million. Boy, can you hear me? Do you cut me at my cup? How about if we give you 350 and 50%? 725, no, 350. And we add, we give you, after 50 games, we give you 200. After international, 250. Uh, they might say yes. Okay. Agreed. Okay. Might happen. And of course he said no. Dude. Yeah, I guess we're not gonna sell Hussein anymore. Nobody wants him anyways. We need extra bodies, so... Whatever. Not too happy with this guy. But I like the positioning. I like the concentration. I don't like the composure. I like the speed though. So, we'll see. We'll see how this is gonna go, but it's just one year, so it's just a loan. We didn't pay too much for him. Real tied Sevilla, it's 1-1. One, one. Rodrigo. I used to have um, Pixel ESPN Plus, not anymore, because uh, they used to have Serie A games, they used to have uh, MLS games, not anymore, so I cancelled it. Man, they're so unreasonable with this demands Gaustad why they're asking for so much money for this kid. Ness.
Oh, the game is uh, is on ESPN Plus. Oh, okay. Yeah. I um. I don't think I can watch it, dude, because I have to stream. So I'm relying on you to let me know what's happening there. Philip Oprea, Norwegian, Romanian, Norwegian. Philip Oprea. Are you kidding me? He's just Norwegian, but with this name, and he's a real guy, by the way. Philip Oprea, Romanian. That's so funny. 20 years old. Nahiri. Ness. Agbo. Nothing good. Let's let's see the under twenty ones. Two point seven million. Thank you, Pixel. Yeah, I'm curious. I'm curious what's gonna happen. William Kvale. Okay, they, they are willing to loan this dude. William Kvale. One oh two, nineteen years old. Let's scout first of all. And let's make an offer. Squad player though. 120,000 for a loan. Yeah, we got the money. That's not the problem. The problem is him. Is he good enough or not? Is killing me two streams in one day it's not easy guys Stud. Let's scout. Maybe. Yeah. Crazy. Limbo. Let's scout this dude too. Alright, let's continue. Oh no. Okay, just three days, Matazo. Dude, don't even.
two days away. Really, one day away now. And we're playing Strom Gosset pre match press conference. We're gonna play Garcia for this game. I don't want to risk Matazo. Let's see if he's gonna be fit by the time we start the game. Man, this stupid chair always goes down so fast. I don't know. It's, um, it's a brand new chair, but can find the right setting for for it getting closer to two hours already into the stream guys probably how soon is gonna be the last game of the stream and Pedro Romach suffering from a cold we have to send him home because he's gonna spread it to the other players we have to play with steel stud yeah it's really nice A gift from my wife <laughs> before I started streaming but I don't know I can't find the right setting it's always I'm adjusting it and then, then I feel myself going down lower and lower you know gotta take a look after the stream Still 1-1 one, one with 4 minutes left. Coventry Luton. How's your save with uh, Kindio Pixel? When are you gonna... You said you play Palmeiras next? Colombia plays tonight. If we win, we get what first spot of the group versus Senegal. Nice, nice. Well, I'm not familiar with the with uh, the Senegal national team, but definitely Colombia. From what you told me, has some some bright bright talent. Good luck, man. You have two more matches before you face Palmeiras, okay. Yeah, it's a it's a fun save with Kindio. If somehow Pixel uh, we we win the Champions League before FM24 comes out, I'm um, I'm going to take over Once Caldas from Colombia and I'm going to try to make a video like an intro video with uh, with the squad the same I did with Asane, you know. If not, definitely I'll do it in FM24. <laughs> Your dad probably doesn't understand the game, but yeah. If if you are going to enjoy it, that's all what matters for me, you know. Your second in the league. Loot and goal. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, goal cancelled. 
They cancel the goal. Let's see if it's gonna stand though. They say it's cancelled here. On my uh, sofa score. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Pixel. I was a little confused. So you're gonna watch Colombia? Yeah, you're gonna watch Colombia under 20s. Yeah, definitely. That's a fun game to watch today. Yeah, it's still one-one because so far scores didn't update my. Uh... Yeah, they canceled it. All right, let's check the training levels before we start the second game of the stream. Stephen Welch. We hope for another win here, so we can continue our great start into the new season. Hussein is training like shit, we have to let him know. Alright, let's check for additional training. Guys, I'll be right back. I need to answer a phone call.
All right, I'm back, guys. I'm sorry. It was uh, it was my wife, like always, in her break at work. <laughs> All right, uh, we're checking for additional training here. So far, no one needs additional. Oh, okay, we have Opeyemi with strength. Escobar doesn't need it because he's injured, so he's out for four months. So yeah, uh, Matazo is still injured. We're not gonna, we're not gonna risk playing him. We're gonna use uh, Garcia and uh, on the right because Romac is suffering from a cold. Uh, Silstad will get the uh, the starting. All right, let's get the three points, guys. Second game of the stream. Yep, we need to keep the same uh, levels at as the, ser the 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 first game that we played against um, <clears throat> Molde. The first game in front of the fans this season. Botker for Balach. Very soon Rasmussen is going to join us. Oh, post from Goset. Very early chance here. They almost uh, they almost scored on us. We need to be very careful. Sealed stud, sixteen years old. Sealed stud. Garcia, Zamburek, Zamburek passing to Gelhard on the right. Crossing to Balac, Balac trying to uh, assist somebody in the box. Kamanzi, Kamanzi losing the possession. We're still putting pressure on Somi. Hannibal in the box. Beautiful turn. Botger. Might be an offside though. But very, very nice uh, chance created. Might be an offside. Yep, offside. Let's see. Hannibal. Beautiful turn. And very close. Very close, but it was offside. Strom got set with another decent chance here. Zamburek, Garcia, Botker, Balac. Oh, powerful shot. 
by Balac. Kamanzi 6-5, Zamburek 6-5. Now Hannibal with a free kick. Nice free kick. Ho oh, ho ho. Hit the post. But nobody was there in front to take advantage of this rebound. Now we're building from the back. Msomi. Kamanzi. Hannibal. Botger. Kamanzi again. Kamanzi. Great pass to Hannibal, but he's not fast enough. Garcia. Kamanzi. Botger. What the hell are you doing, dude? He took a shot from 25 meters with defender on him. Garcia, Welsh. And Somi switching to the right. Gelhart. Still nothing. Garcia. For Kamanzi, Kamanzi for Botger in the box, Botger for Silstad and the 16 years old kid has poor finishing. Botger again, Balac, Gelhard, oh Kamanzi, really? He was offside? Hmm. Welsh Silstad. Strom Gosset with Killen on the right. Fernandez, Lisa, Fernandez, Killen, but Olsen Pedersen is there to save us. Welsh, still stud. Welsh. Welsh, Kamanzi, Kamanzi gets inside the box, Hannibal and deflected corner kick. We're getting closer to halftime, still 0-0. Zero, zero. Kamanzi. Msomi. And Lillestrom is first in the league with six points now. They won their second game in a row. Still stud for Balac inside a penalty box. Gerhard and corner kick again. So we're dominating the game, but we can't score. And at some point, Strom got said he's gonna have a chance too, so we need to be ready because the game do does this all the time. You dominate, you put uh, pressure the whole game, and if, if if you don't score, there you go. But nope, no nah, offside. So Gelhart one nothing. I thought he's an offside for one second, but. It's gonna stand Gelhart again with the second goal, or no, actually the third goal of the season, because last game he scored two goals. Hannibal here 
great assist and one nothing before halftime very good first half let's start second half Welsh come on Z Zamburek come on follow Silstad Out Brunus 46th minute Strom goes set with a decent chance here we need to be careful and Keelan bad shot though Facundo Garcia 6.5 rating I think uh, we need to sub him very very soon Balac There you go. What did I tell you? Strom got said he's starting to, to put pressure. They don't need too many chances to score, unlike us. Brout. And that was offside, though. Okay. Um, Facundo Garcia and Silstad are struggling. Let's see what we have on the bench. I don't want to risk and play Matazo, so let's do Hussein for Garcia. <clears throat> and uh, on the right, we'll play Kamanzi for Silstad, and we move Amundsen Day on the left. Let's see how this is gonna go. Hannibal trying to find Balac, Fernandez now, Killen. We get the possession back. Gelhard for Hannibal in the box. Hannibal and corner kick again. Hannibal is very active and uh, he already assisted Gelhard. Kamanzi with the corner kick. Msomi yellow card here. Yep. We need to score one more goal. This is dangerous. Don't sleep on this goal. Hussain Somi 56 minutes Amundsen Day Sunday Hannibal Hannibal for Gerhard Gerhard Zamburek Hannibal again in the box Hannibal Nothing comes out of it
so me for Balach. Good jumping, Balach for Zamburek. Zamburek for bot gear. Bot gear deflected. Deflected shot. We're still having possession. Gelhardt trying to find somebody in the penalty box. And Welsh with the fall. That was a tactical fall. Olsen Peterson. 62nd minute. We're still not 100% sure if we can win this game. We need to score one more goal just to make sure. Okay, good pass here on the left for Hannibal. He's gonna pass for Balac and another block shot. Come on, Z. Uh, this is offside. Yeah. Okay, everyone is playing good. Only Amundsen, they struggling. Okay, both gear 6.5. Let's wait for this highlight to be over and then we can make some subs. With 20 minutes left. Every point or points matter guys so as we remember last season we were so close to winning the title oh fernandez with a huge huge miss okay let's wait for this highlight again kamanzi on the right great speed for kamanzi Oh, what a pass. Both gear, dude. All right, we need to sub. Both gear. Enough. Who else we got? Let's see. We got... Um... We got Hannibal who can do it. And uh, let's put Runar Hauge on the left. Inside forward. Uh... That's it for now. Come on, guys. One more goal. Hussain. Amundsen. Another, another bad first touch for Amundsen. He is not a left back, he's a central defender and not a good one. <laughs> Until we find a proper left back, we have to play him there. Msomi. Msomi. Hauge. Hauge. Balac. Balac had so many chances to score. Hannibal, Gelhardt, back to Hannibal, Hannibal, Hussein, that's it, Zamburek, Hussein, Hauge, Amundsen, what the hell are you doing dude, and our counter attack for Stromgo said this is really dangerous, Rodrigo on the left, Switches to Sandberg. Sandberg. And we're lucky again. We are so lucky. Okay, we need to make some more subs. Uh, Niku Balac has to come out. Raholt in. We need to give this kid a chance also. Uh, on the left. Hmm. 
because Amundsen Day is having a horrible game and we just put him in so I don't know what else we can do here and Somi can you do right back dude yes but really bad Welsh you what about you oh okay Welsh then Kamanzi on the left and we can put Opeyemi in Hussein, Welsh, Hauge, what a save by Mira, Strom Gosset's goalkeeper, big save in the 86th minute, corner kick, Kamanzi, come on guys, we gotta get the three points, let's score one more goal, Zamburek, Gelhardt and do nothing. Finally, some justice after dominating the whole game and missing so many good chances to score. Gelhardt scores his second of the game and his fourth goal of the season so far. Hussein finds Gelhardt, takes a shot, deflected, and Three more points for Asane. Let's make more subs now. Because now it's in the bag. Let's see who else. Oh, we did all our subs actually, so never mind. Hauge, Msoni, Hussein, few more minutes from the extra time, Gelhardt again, good good finish here by Raholt, it could have been 3-0. Zamburek, Welsh. Nice pass here to Raholt. Raholt. Somebody needs to help him. Welsh gets fouled. And a few more seconds here. The referee is checking his watch. The last free kick. Hussein. Come on. Jesus, why take so long? Okay, never mind. Full time, 2 nothing for Asane. Three more points for us, guys. We are starting very well this season, exactly how we started last season. And then, in the end, we finished second. So, I hope this year is going to be our year. Bodo Glimt beat Molde 2-0. Molde, funny, he's, they're, they're last in the league right now. And of course, us and Bodo Glimt and Rosenborg, we are uh, already leading the league. Let's praise Gelhardt for another goal. Uh, actually two goals. Sorry about that. So four goals in two games for Gelhardt. Damn, what a start. 
of his journey in in Norway. We revived his career, guys. Leeds didn't give him a chance, but we are. We do. Okay, uh, press conference. And uh, we have one week until Haugesund. Because we are already 2 hours and 26 minutes into the stream, guys. I don't think we do have the time to, to play the third game in uh, today's stream. But I will press continue until we finalize Rasmussen deal. And then uh, we're gonna end it, guys, because I'm really, really tired. This is uh, the second stream of the day, as you already know. And, um, yeah. Not easy for my back. <laughs> we will come back tomorrow. And uh, definitely tomorrow we will play more games. We'll have more time to, to advance into our season. Let's see here. Okay, we're good. No injuries. No new injuries because we have one long term. All right, so Rasmussen said yes. We have the money. We accepted it. And now let's see how much money we have left. Team registration. Hmm. Rasmussen is injured for five weeks. Damn. How come I didn't check this? This is annoying, but whatever. We have to take one player out. Christian Asbo, maybe. Beckeberg? Uh, ah, oh, come on. Who do I have to take out, man? Emre? Kazmaz? Yes. And he will be our Shadow Striker. Let's give him a number. Give him number 19. Okay. Skills are looking pretty much the same. 28 years old, 118 current ability, very good player for us. But we have so many injuries, though. We have four players injured. Only one with a mild injury. Everyone else long-term. But we trust Matthias Rasmussen when he's coming back from his injury to help us. We paid um, 425000 plus 50% future fee. We already know when um, his contract will expire in five years, he will not be good enough to, you know, to be sold for any value. So that's why I use that 50% future fee. All right, Vale. I am not sure if I want to do this. 19 years old, left back. I am not sure. from Brun. He played two games last season, just two games in Elite Syrian and then actually no, he played 14 games, but he was on loan in Hamkam too in the second league. Three caps for the under 21 national team. backup we need a backup ah, i'll do it whatever come on he gets half salary hike all right let's see the full stats cork valley and we'll give me we'll give him a face later on today so tomorrow he will have his real face i have to look for it online 
Because he's a real guy. I need to go to Bran. And try to find his face. William Cavale. Oh, yes. Oh, this guy is very good. Not good. Very good. And I'm very happy with this deal. Damn. Yes, he is legit, guys. I was expecting something else, but this guy has a lot of room to improve, too. William Cavale. Young fullback for nine months. Lone. Injured also. Dude. What's wrong with these people? Everybody's injured that we loan. They're injured. So, squad number number three. Work Vale. Did we register him or we don't need to register him? I don't think we need to register him because he's under 19. Let's see the registration. Vale. Oh, we do have to register him. Yep. see who can we take out now Jakobson maybe yes there you go let's see how much money left now we'll have 241,000 we have to adjust a little bit here the um, the wages. So now we're spending five million seventy four thousand for our salaries, and we still have one hundred eighty four thousand for transfers. I'm gonna try to find another central defender on my own later on today, guys, and um, maybe that's gonna be the last deal we are gonna make. for uh for this transfer window but for for now we are we are done for uh, for today's stream guys thank you for joining pixel uh thank you everyone for being here uh batsmurf also if you are watching thank you for uh for joining the stream and guys i will see you all tomorrow probably it's going to be an early stream, 8.30, 8 or 8.30 a.m. Central Time. Enjoy the rest of the day, guys. Take care. See you tomorrow.